Hello, glorious spilling away that is shooting from an underground creek out into this glorious little lake. How the hell are you today? I have missed you. It is a lot colder than the last time I was here. It's a lot colder than I've probably ever been here. But uh, yeah, buddy Clint, saw him a few videos ago. Happy birthday again, Clint. He, uh, he was here yesterday, cold front, wrecked him. Absolutely wrecked him. I walked up and I didn't really see much, which isn't really a good sign, but we're still gonna give it a shot. Stuff and thing, but. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you greasy old stash stains. That was kind of a combination of the two things that I used for an intro. And I'm sorry, you're not greasy. That was kind of mean. But anyway, we are here. We are fishing for walleyes and wipers. And um, yeah, also just anything. There's everything in this lake. There's everything that comes here. It's just water flowing in. Only spot on the whole, whole lake that has this. And uh, yeah, it can be real good. We've done good here this year. And um, yeah, just figured I'd give it a shot. Sorry for kind of an absence for like the past week. I have been sicker than a dog. I don't know if I had the Rona, just the regular flu, or just a sinus infection from uh, dealing with leaves and blowing up a bunch of dust into my nose. But I have felt like trash for like five days, so I haven't really got to go fishing much. Should have came yesterday with Clint, but I know feel good. So uh, yeah, we got a uh, big weird lure we're gonna try. It's like a zombie shad, but uh, we're gonna start with the traditional swimmer and just see if anything's home. But we do have a random lure that I bought while I was sitting on the shit air one day that uh, we might give a shot. So uh, yeah, come along with me, see what we can catch. Hopefully something, stuff with things. But yeah. I'm just gonna leave the big camera out. I'm irresponsible. I lost my tripod for the big camera, again. But maybe we can just like set it on this little step or something. I'm gonna use the swimmer to see if something's home, but I'll show you the big zombie lure here soon. I don't know why they're not just going crazy everywhere. After what I heard from Clint about yesterday, I was expecting them to just be, uh, just be blowing up everywhere. But I suppose it is like upper 20 degrees, 30 degrees, so I guess it's not that surprising. That was a fish, but it didn't eat it. Um, but you guys have commented that you kind of enjoy watching me struggle. You sick bastards. And the videos that I make it look easy aren't quite as enjoyable, so. This might be one of those, oh, that thing hit it. This might be one of those ones we have to work for it a little bit. It's cold though, and I wanna get home. I still really don't feel good though, so. I mean, I'd prefer if they would just play along nicely. We shall see. Something. Felt small though. It wasn't a wipey, it might have been a large mouth or a whale eye or something. Might have been a whale eye. Oh, there it is. There it is. They ain't going crazy, boys and girls, but a couple are still home. A couple are still home. Last time I was here, I actually switched to a reel that had 20 pound test instead of 10 pound test. Um, well, I switched back to the 10 and I was too lazy to switch it back to the 20 when we got here today, so. Wish me luck. Hopefully we don't break any fish off. You just a little mean one. Gosh, wipeys are so angry. Little mean one. Fall feeding whale eye. Swallowed it. Swallowed it. <clears throat> anyway, what I was getting at is we're gonna be uh, in for a fight if we actually hook a big one, but. Get more bang for your buck when you fish with light line, you know? We might not get too many fish on today, so we might as well enjoy it while it happens. Cool. Wipey dipey. Straight up chomped it. His mouth is kind of small, so it's going to be kind of hard to get. All right, one of my favorite fish ever, boys and girls. He's kind of a mangy, skinny little bugger, but he slammed it and he fought pretty good for not weighing all that much. On the swimmer. On the swimmer. I'm gonna make a few more casts of this and I'll show you guys my big dumb lure that I uh, bought while I was taking a dump. You guys ever buy dumb shit when you're taking a shit? Yeah. 
I don't know if I'd call it dumb. It's actually pretty cool, but I spent $65 on this lure randomly while I was taking a poop. It's like one of those swim bait things. It's like, oh, we only have 10 left. I made it by hand. You must buy it now. I was like, well, shit, you know what? I might as well buy it now. So I bought it now. And I don't even know how to use the damn thing. But I figured if I came here and there's so many damn fish floating around that it didn't matter what you threw, then I could probably catch something on it. But today, upper 20 degrees. Doesn't seem to be a lot of them around, and maybe the ones that are here are kind of smaller, so I'm not sure if it'll really work. We'll see, though. We will see. Got hammered. Might be a whale eye. Switched to the lipless and threw it out a little farther and got rocked. Didn't seem that big at first, but it's seeming a little bit bigger now. I threw the uh, smaller swim bait through there a uh, few times and nothing happened out there. It's growing up. I didn't think it was that big at first definitely fighting like a whale eye and it definitely seems large oh no That wouldn't hurt that bad if they were on fire here, but they don't seem to be on fire. I haven't caught a walleye here for a while, so I really wanted to. And I would almost guarantee that was a whale eye. I don't know what I could have done differently. It's just the treble hook bait, sometimes you don't get them hooked as good. But... Threw the swim bait through there about 20 times, didn't even get touched. And then first cast with the uh, lipless out there and a whale I smokered it just act like that never happened I don't know if I can do that but I'm gonna try hand stuff <clears throat> got one right there gotta loosen my drag a little bit though because he's going absolutely ballistic Slammed it. That thing absolutely slammed it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Back to the little swimmer. Still haven't used the big swimmer. Not really sure if I'm gonna. Because we've got four bites in about 45 minutes. Which isn't actually really all that bad. Actually, it's not bad at all. This time of year, four bites on lures out of a spot like this or just any spot in general is pretty decent. Just kind of had a good summer. Got a little spoiled. What a big dog or what? I can't tell. It's a medium dog. Hit it like a big dog. Definitely hit it like a big dog. <clears throat> oh, come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. You're all right. I know, you're cold. You just want to get going back. And to be honest with you, bud, I just want to get, get the casting back out there. So, thanks for giving up. The fish really aren't even that cold. Well, he grew up a little bit. A little sunset. Some clouds. Wipey diapy, my friend. Wipey diapy. No, wait, that's right. Last time I was here, I said wipey diapy so many times that somebody unsubscribed. All right, it's just a wiper or a hybrid or a whatever. I think hammered it though. One of the best feelings in the world, boys and girls, is when a wiper hits a swimmy boy. Am I allowed to say swimmy boy? 
I guess that guy already unsubscribed, so I guess it doesn't really matter at this point. And I think Swimmy Boy sounds pretty funny, so <clears throat> I'm going to keep saying it. Um, but yeah, we kind of had a good summer, so good year on flatheads, good year on wipers, decent year on walleyes. We had a good year. Did you guys have a good year? I feel like I had a pretty good year. Comment down below what the favorite, your, your favorite thing that you caught this year was. Let me know. I think I'm going to be on a trip fishing a couple hours away for two days when this video gets posted. So if I don't get back to your best favorite thing you caught this year right away, then that's why. Got a trip coming up. Pretty stoked about it. And um, yeah. It's a place that you all know and love if you've been around for a while. Should be pretty good. But yeah. We're going to keep it going. I'll switch between the swimmer and the lipless for now. And then if just like a big pot of them shows up, then we'll throw the uh, big swimmer. But for now, we'll keep doing this and stuff. Yo, what up, buds? What's popping? What's popping? the hell are those? Coots? Cooters? Hey, cooters, where are the wipers? Where are the wiper scooters? Hello? Hello? Talking to ya. They mean the buck short I'm writing a report of losing and failing when I move on flailing now. Anyway, <coughs> enough Blink 182. Uh, yeah. Tried the big swimmer, it sucked. Little swimmer, did okay. Flipless, did hook a walleye, but. I'm gonna try a blade bait, I don't know. Just kind of one of those days. Like I said at the beginning, that you just gotta work for it, you know? We're used to working for it. Somebody posted on my Pig Patrol TV Facebook group. That was the wrong tackle box. That Nebraska is the 46th worst. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's number 46 on the list of states for fishing. So yeah, we gotta work for them around here, boys and girls. We gotta work. Warm. I haven't been here too long though. Hope is not lost. Hope is definitely not lost. But it's not what we envisioned or dreamed about while we were taking a little rest in our Betty by overnight. Getting texts from old Clinton of seven, eight, nine, ten pounders and caught like 11 of them in 30 minutes, he said. But Clint's a legend, so I'm not surprised. So yeah, let's try this. Might work. Might not. You have to know. So we're gonna try. Nice stuff. Oh. 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 Second cast on the blade. Second cast on the blade. Oh shit. On the light pole. We're going to be in, in this one for a while, boys and girls. I think I felt it bump it, though. Not too worried about it being snagged. I'm just worried about having too light of a damn pole. Man, that felt good. That dude just started skirting. Absolutely skirting. Ah! He was just wiggling his head all crazy like. I didn't like that. There's normally docks right here, so luckily we don't have to worry about those. I just hope he stays pinned. We're zero for one on treble hook bait fish. Zero for one. Probably shouldn't jinx it like that, but... <clears throat> I mean, facts are facts, boys and girls. I'm gonna miss you guys when it comes ice season. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you guys so much. <laughs> I wish I could figure out a way to consistently catch wipers through the ice. That'd be epic. That would be epic. I think it's a decent one. Yeah. Not a bad one, boys and girls. 
Not looking forward to touching it though, because it's got treble hooks in its face and the water's freezing and I, actually the water's kind of warm, but I'm freezing. My hands are cold. My nose is cold. My body is not cold though. Cover ales, bibs, what have you. <clears throat> All right, well, you know, boys and girls, sometimes you just gotta switch things up. Sketchy. Sometimes you gotta switch things up. All righty, took a little downsizing. Lighting's terrible, but that's all right. It's not super giant. We'll worry about the lighting more if we get a big one, but not a bad fish. Super cold morning, feeling like trash. This helps me feel a little bit better, but yeah, swimmer's been working. Switch to the blade bait, two casts in. A little wipey dipey on the medium light stash stick. I love these things. They are one of my favorites. All right, well, I was starting to get a little bit worried that we weren't gonna make something happen more than the first few fish. It's been about 30 minutes since I caught a fish, but we got one. We're gonna keep trying. It, uh, yeah, I don't know. I feel all right right now, so. Keep giving it a whirl. Hopefully the blade bait keeps working, but if it doesn't, we'll keep switching because when you're making the same cast over and over again in the same spot, it's easy to get like bored, you know? So it's just fun to switch up a little bit. And uh, yeah, worked right away. Instant gratification, that's my kind of gratification. And stuff. Man, did you guys hear that thing ripping line? That thing was skirting. Woo! Skirting. Angry little boogers. I say it every time, but I'm gonna say it again. All they care about is fighting, biting, that was a fish. And that's it, because they're sterile and they can't do the other F word. Or maybe they try, I don't know. I doubt they're successful. Angriest fish in freshwater though, boys and girls. Angriest fish, at least in the Midwest and stuff. Uh, I just took a drink of my coffee and lifted that off the bottom and got smoked and it feels giant. Maybe I just needed to slow down a notch. That was out away from the tube too, but I was just kind of boopity bopping it on the bottom. Thing about ripped the damn pole out of my hands. No, oh, he's going right for it. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. <clears throat> I think it's pretty big. Yeah, not bad, boys and girls. Not bad. Maybe I just need to slow it down a notch. Got about 15 more minutes. Maybe we can get maybe we can get another fish. <clears throat> There you are, bud. Playing hard to get, eh? Playing hard to get. It will always amaze me how hard wipers fight. Just a little powerhouse. Little, muscly, mean powerhouse on the swimmer yet again. All righty. I'm giving up. Got things to do. A little bit slower than I expected. I expected a lot more based on yesterday, but yeah. I probably should have made it out yesterday even though I didn't feel good, but no regrets. Can't change it. It's just kind of how it works. Post frontal, bluebird skies, a little bit of wind, just just not, not, not necessarily ideal for fishing. So I'm actually pretty proud of the four wipers we caught. Wish we would have caught that walleye or presumed walleye and yeah. Shout out to my buddy Mike for letting me come here. This place is always fun. And uh, yeah, the swim bait did the trick for some fish that uh, didn't want to eat. I eventually want to uh, try to catch some fish on this thing. This is my swim bait I bought when I was taking a poop. I just thought it was cool. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it. But maybe uh, next year, next year when the water's warmer, I'll bring it here and see if I can get some fish too. 
crush it. But if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe. Got a trip coming up that I'm really excited about, so stay tuned. Tough things, but.